process. Some people are just like a duck to water. Uh, that's their natural environment for, for many reasons. There's others who are going to be far more reticent. And in both instances, that's good because the whole point of being creative is to have no fear and to try things to learn the, from the experience. And so even if they're really keen to do it, they're going to get something they didn't see, hear or feel was going to come. And specifically those who have actually attempted it have overcome a great fear and learned an enormous about themselves and the subject. First of all, Mr Chairman, Mr President, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honour to be uh, allowed up from the floor to speak with you all this evening. I have the very real, uh, so it is an honour to be the chair of the Innovation and Research Panel. So I'm absolutely delighted to be able to, uh, yes Maestro. <laughs> so right, they've, they've not noticed. <laughs> to say a few words on behalf of... <laughs> steady, steady. I've not got to that bit yet. <laughs> on behalf... <laughs> it wasn't like this at rehearsal, was it? <laughs> on behalf of the COBs, innovation and research panel. I'd like to say a few words. Thank you, darling. On, number one, <laughs> in all seriousness, our mission and its importance, the mission of the INR panel. Number two, I would like to look at uh, celebrating our winners. Number three, we would like to just express some thanks. And number four, some food for thought. Some food for thought. And some, probably some questions, I think. Okay, right. Our mission and why it is important. Ladies and gentlemen, our mission to your right, or no, you can see the screens. Um, <clears throat> could I just bring to your attention some very important words on our mission? Is that we are celebrate innovation. The word's been used quite often this evening, celebrate innovation. It's so another wonderful word there is facilitate. Marvellous. So facilitate innovation and research by bringing stakeholders together. Si voila, we did it. See, there you all are. The panel will also take an active part in identifying and setting the research agenda. So hopefully this evening, just in the exact few minutes, we can put some emphasis on why it is so important. It is so important that we do those things, the celebration, the facilitation, and the setting of the agenda. Why it is so important that we, as the Innovation and Research Panel at the Charter Institute of Building, actually start to ignite and, and excite people in innovation and research. Now, what happens if you don't get excited about innovation and research? We have... Sir Frank Lample, FCIOB, has said, without research and innovation, there is no progress. That's what we said. Without progress, you stagnate and you become a loser. And that's a fact. Become losers. And we don't want to be doing that, do we? No. Please. <laughs> so, what is it that if we do innovate and we do take care of the research, what happens? We will realise the best places for work. Relaxation and creative pursuits, sports, art, anything that actually excites us and gets our buds excited. If we do take care of our innovation and research, we will have <coughs> buildings that do realise such. Number two, please. We will enable a healthy, profitable, sustainable sector. The strong will survive. As Sir Frank has said, it's the mind <coughs> and the people who have those minds that will be the ones that succeed. They will overcome adversity. Number three, please. If we take care of our innovation research, we will 
do as the citizens of ancient Athens swore an oath to do, which was, we will leave this city not less, but greater, better, and more beautiful than it was left to us. My thanks to Tom Bloxham of Urban Splash for every speech he ever does. He reminds us of that. Those are the things, if we take care of our innovation and research in the construction sector across the globe, we will thrive and survive. I thank you. Okay, now then. So let's look at now getting with our mission, which I've just been through with you there. So Frank's statement about being losers if you don't, if you stagnate, and those ancient Athenians. Should we celebrate our winners? Now, this is the... Because these three guys, they all did the COB's INR panels one, two, three. Please repeat the one, two, three for me. One, to realise the best places of work, relaxation, creative pursuit. The three guys have been involved in some of the most beautiful buildings across the globe. And they are testament to their ingenuity. Number two. Yes, to enable a healthy and profitable sustainable sector. Thank God for the likes of Sir Frank. Olaf and Arab, because they worked through one of two recessions and they came straight out of a World War II when it wasn't that easy to get along, I can assure you. My dad told me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Yes, please do not forget that these three people did leave this city not less but greater better and more beautiful than it was when it was left to them. Especially after World War II. Let's hope it's not World War III. Anyway, should we just move on? Yes. They are all immortal. All three are immortal because their presence will be felt forevermore. And I think that's where it will end.